Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's unexpected video. This is all happening very quickly in real time. So I just got a message from my friend Oscar who sent me a post from Wagmore Pets who I've worked with several, several times. Basically, there was a box of little French Bulldog puppies that were abandoned at a vet and they need fosters. So of course, I was very ready and willing to step in and help them out. There's a potential that the puppies could be blind. I don't understand how that happens if it was like through neglect or maybe that's why they were neglected but we're gonna get more information so let's go ahead and rescue these little sweet angels oh my goodness they're so sweet oh my gosh so melissa said they might be blind is that yes. true um that is what we think but they are so malnourished oh, no. that we think that they can get their eyesight back okay. with a good diet. Yeah. They do have, it looks like they tried to attempt to dock their tails. Oh my god. But with the string. We can't remove it, but they don't have pain from it. Okay. But they should kind of heal of its own. They just need to gain weight. Oh my god, that's so sad. Okay, I'll take good care of you guys. So should I try and get the string off or? No. No, no it, they got checked. No. Okay. Because it's too lodged in there, but they're so thin okay. that they just need to get better before anything can sure. be done about that. Okay. Hi, little guys. What are you doing? You have such pretty eyeballs. Oh, thank you. I'm going to take very good care of you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kisses. That's so sweet. You guys are hungry? We'll get you lots of foods. <laughs> They're like, are these nipples? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry about your tails. Doesn't feel so good. Oh, yeah. We're going to get you guys some real yummy food, okay? Anything you want, whenever you want, I'll get it for you. Okay. Oh, my God. This one is just stealing my heart. Oh, you're so cute too. Okay, I have to close you in. We have a long ride home. That is truly so heartbreaking. The owner of the puppies came and dropped them off and was basically like, I want to euthanize them. I don't want to deal with blind puppies. Just get rid of them. And they were able to convince the person to surrender them and not euthanize them. Just like breaks my heart that these puppies were literally just like wanted to like be killed. So I'm so glad that they're alive and that um, they're gonna be in better hands now and we can go and fatten them up, make them all big and fluffy and sweet little puppy lives that they'll live. Oh my God. It just like, she was telling me the story and I was just like choking up. I was like, oh my God, this is too sad. They're just the sweetest little nuggets. There's eight puppies total, but she believed that it would be best to split them up because some of them are eating faster than others and that it would just be better to have them in smaller groups so they can rehabilitate better. So, okay, let's go. Oh my God, I just came back here and they're sleeping. And you guys, I get so triggered. Like that one was having its head up there. I literally came back here and I was like, oh my God, they're dead, they're dead. But no, they're just, sleeping you guys are very sleepy and you have a lot of energy oh someone went poopies someone did a poopies why do you why do you sleep like that it's so scary i don't like it okay let's go let's get inside all right we're in the empty pet room so they're in there for right now and i need to set up their area over here let's get to it <laughs> Well, the area is set up. I actually couldn't find the little screws for here, so I'm just using tape for now. It'll hold. I mean, they're babies. Like, they're so little. Let's move them into here and then give them some water and some food. Hi, baby. Excuse me. It's time to wake up. It's moving day. Boys and girls literally pooped out. You guys are very weak because you're malnourished. Let's get you some food and water. Come on. They're so little. Oh my gosh. There you go. Here. The spotty ones. Okay. 
Okay, here you go. Get some water. Oh, delicious. No, don't like that. Like the bowl. They're so little, you guys. Like, so teeny. Come here. You're so freaking cute. There you go. Yeah, that's what you needed. Careful, it's not going anywhere. You guys are good. Thirsty puppies. Oh my god, they're so stinking cute. Alright, let's go get you some food now. Alright, babies, I got the good stuff for you. What's going on over there? What are you, what, what am I walking on? Get out of there. Okay. Oh yeah. Over here, over here. There you go. Oh, gobbly goop. There you go. Ravenous. Oh. I keep forgetting that they can't see. <laughs> Look at those frog legs. I've never seen anything like that. You have frog legs. Yeah. It's fully going to be my mission to get these puppies' eyesight back to normal and rehabilitate them because they deserve everything and more in this world. They are just innocent little puppies that I don't know why someone wouldn't want them. Luckily, they're in good hands now and they're gonna get lots and lots of food. Oh, we got a soft serve ice cream. Normally the machine's broken, but I'm glad that it's up and running today. Oh, you're giving me kisses. That's a thank you kiss. You're welcome. Did you like that? That was yummy. Ow! Okay, that was not a thank you kiss. That was a that was a bite. So I just came back and they're huddling in the corner. I think they're scared. So I brought this in here so they can have like a little bit of shelter. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's just me. Yeah. You are scared. No need to be scared. Yeah. Oh, that's your spot. This your spot. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can go in here tonight. Yeah. Good morning everybody. It's the next day and I just walked into a crime scene. If you get a little queasy with poop, skip ahead a little bit because it's not cute. Oh my goodness. What were you poopy puppies doing all night? Oh, you're sliding in your own poop. Okay, let's get you up. Okay, I know you can't see. Oh, that's, okay, let's not, okay. Even inside your bed area. Oh, I know, I'm over here. Okay, area is fresh. It looks like they're playing a lot now. They're getting more comfortable. They're still covered in poop, so I'd like to give them a bath. But it's time for breakfast, kids. I'm over here. Right there. There you go, smell it. Smells it. Over here, bud. Oh. So playful. So normally I would have the puppies at this age be outside during the day. That way, you know, they're not just like sitting in their poop because there's not much space for it, but they are so little that I'm just cautious about like birds swooping in and getting them. But I am looking at some outdoor kennels right now that have like a roof. They're just pretty expensive. I mean, they range from like two to $4,000 on this website I'm looking. Here, I'll show you. They have a little dog house and then it would have just the grass right there that they would go in. This one is 3,600, which is crazy. So there's all different types of options. And look, there's even a Frenchie in there. I normally don't ask these type of things, 
but if you would like to help support these puppies there's a button down below it's a thanks button and basically you can donate like a dollar to i think four hundred dollars obviously i don't expect anyone to donate four hundred dollars but if you feel inclined and you want to help these puppies out you can do a thanks and it will also leave a comment and i will be responding to every single person who leaves a thanks the money will be going towards these puppies and getting them outdoor kennels food all that stuff so if you feel like you want to help them no pressure at all just figured i'd throw it out there also rosanna pansino is the sweetest soul ever she had sent me a venmo to help support the puppies as well so i'm gonna go buy them some toys some extra treats for them but that was very sweet of you bro you did not have to do that but the puppies and i very much appreciate it well i was not expecting them to be asleep already after their breakfast, I'm supposed to give them their medicine. I hate to wake them up, but maybe it'll be good that they're a little sleepy because they're probably not gonna like this very much. Sweet little cherub. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, I have to give you your pill. Not gonna taste good, so we're gonna just put it down my throat. Did you get it? Good job. Okay, now you need to have some of this. Good job. Delicious. It's, can you guys imagine me not with huskies? Oh, you're so light. I know, this is definitely the one that's the most blind for sure. You have some crazy legs. You got some crazy frog legs. You can stand. Okay, I'm gonna give you a pill. some syrup. There we go, come on. Oh, you're a feisty one, aren't you? I know, it doesn't taste very good, trust me. When I was a kid and I, my mom would give me cherry syrup for medicine, that shit was coming out my mouth instantly. I was like, oh. Hello. Hi, you have such pretty coloring. Can you see me? You just hear me? First we start off with a pill for you. You have much more gentle energy. Okay, let's not chew it, let's just swallow it. I mean, it won't taste good if you chew it, trust me. There we go. Oh, you did not eat your pill. Did you get it? You swallowed? That was a tough one. You have a very small mouth. All right. The last one. No. Enjoy this pill. Good job. I know, I know, I know. That's not good. They have very small palates. It's just like flat. Okay, you're done. Good job, everybody. Whew, that was quite the task. Go back to bed. Good morning. How are your kittens? Oh, hi, kitty girls. Hello. So this is the update if you guys haven't been keeping updated on my vlog channel. The kittens have gotten quite large and I made them a bigger area, but they only like to be in the corner. You guys are silly. You just wanna be in the corner? Oh my gosh, my house has officially turned into a zoo. So yes, I have been documenting the experience of fostering kittens as well over my vlog channel, and I'm going to be continuing as well with the new puppies over there. I think I'm gonna be giving them a bath on my vlog channel. So if you want to see how that experience goes, you can subscribe down below. And I know I asked for the thanks thing, below but also if you feel more comfortable and i'd also recommend to donate to wagmore pets they're the ones who connect me with these puppies and without them there would be dogs that or puppies and dogs that 
just wouldn't make it because of them. So huge thank you to them for being able to rescue these animals in the first place so fosters like me have the opportunity to even help. With that, I am going to end the video here. If you'd like to continue on the journey, again, the link to my vlog channel is down below and you can go watch some cute little puppy baths. But that's it for today. Until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn bye.